Team USA is set to take on Belgium this afternoon at 2 o'clock in the World Cup. It's around the 16. You can go check it out at the Chemo Theater. The city has a big free deal there. You'll see the game on a big screen in air conditioning. And now to get a breakdown on what's going on with the World Cup, talk some soccer. UNM's head soccer coach, Jeremy Fishbein, is here to talk about it. Good morning, coach. Thanks for getting up early and coming in. Appreciate it. No, happy to be here. Okay, so U.S. taking on Belgium today. What kind of chance you give the U.S. in this game? It really is a do or die situation. Literally. Yeah, Literally. no, 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 no. I, I like it. I like how we're playing. I, I think it's a good matchup for us. I think there's still a lot of variables in terms of who's playing, uh, injuries, uh, things like that. I don't think we'll know till kickoff, but uh, I like our chances. You like the chances? It, it, the losing to Germany, even though we caught a break and still got into this mm -hmm. kind of do or die mm -hmm. round of 16, did that take some wind out of the U.S.'s sails at all? No, I think it's uh, you get out of the group. So okay. it's, it's, you know, it's... Uh, now single elimination for both teams. You know, Belgium had a pretty good run. They won all three games in the group stage. Probably didn't play the same level of competition that we did. Uh, they, mm -hmm. played, uh, they played Algeria, Russia, and Korea. You know, we played some big teams, you know, Ghana, Germany, Portugal. So I think we're well prepared. I think we're healthy. I think we might get a good boost that uh, Josie Altador is going to be able to play today. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm excited for it. All right, and you talked about this a second ago. You think compared to some of the other teams as a whole, the men from the U.S. team are pretty well rested mm -hmm. compared to if you talk about how many games they've played so far this year that our guys are in pretty good shape and should do well. Yeah, um, when you look at Belgium, you know, they got a lot of guys playing in big leagues all mm -hmm. over the world. They play in the Champions League. I think the, the, the toll on them over the last 12 months is much different than the U.S. players. And I think you're starting to see that in the World Cup, you know, injuries, a lot fatigue related. For the Americans, uh, we're ready, we're fit. Uh, I, I think uh, the coach, Jurgen Klinsmann, had a very good uh, plan in terms of uh, the weather and how mm -hmm. we're going to prepare. I, I, think, I think it's going to be a great game today. Yeah, it'll be good. You know, you talk about the weather. Last time we played, it was pouring down rain. As someone, for folks who don't know a ton about soccer, nearly as much as you do, what can we look for during the game to see, okay, the U.S. is doing well? Is it how many shots on goal we get? Is it how much control we have of the ball? What kinds of things can the average Joe look for? I mean, soccer's uh, 90 minutes, and there's just a lots of ups and downs, and it's just kind of establishing that rhythm. I think the first thing we need to do is defend properly, get a hold of the ball, um, and let, let's play in the opponent's half and, and just get our confidence high. I, I think uh, Belgium has some pretty special attacking players. Okay. It's not, uh, it's not allowing them to have openings, you know, 1v1. We have to have good team defending, um, good work ethic, and just not give the ball away in bad areas. But, you know, that's, that's any game. It's pretty, it's pretty cut and dry. Okay. Uh, our, our guys will be ready to go. You talk about this, 90 minutes, they have a huge field. Um, if you were to see these guys in person, we see them on TV, they look pretty fit. Mm -hmm. These guys are incredibly fit athletes, right, to be able to go at this because they don't sub out a lot like other sports do. Now you have three substitutions, but, you know, I was looking, uh, when you watch these games, they often show the distances covered, and guys are running from six to nine, ten miles a game. Uh, you huh. you got to be fit, and it's sprints, it's, it's contact, it's jumping. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing level of fitness. Okay, real quick before we go, I want to ask you about your team, the mm -hmm. UNM men's soccer team. Mm -hmm. Last year, I believe you're in the, the final four for the final NCAA four. tournament. You have one of the best teams in the country. Every year, you're doing really good. What do you think you're going to do in the fall? I think we're going to have a great team. Yeah. yeah and, and, and hopefully, there's uh, you know, a lot of carryover from this World Cup. Get people out there. we got a pretty international team, guys mm -hmm. from all over. Athletic, great students. We had a 3.5 GPA this last semester, so it's uh, a group I'm really proud of. It's exciting, and uh, people love soccer, right. so hopefully it carries over. Go check them out this fall. Obviously, you're doing a good job. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank for coming you. in this morning, Coach. All right, thanks. Again, more on the World Cup and all that. You can head to our website, casa.com. Click on the Casa blog. You can also learn more about UNM's men's team there. And